I looked for a, um, a research area. I looked for, uh, I tried to be strategic and one area that um, commended itself to me was uh, economics of tourism. My colleagues in economics were doing all sorts of uh, uh, research into other areas such as the automobile industry or money and banking and so on, macroeconomics. I found all this quite boring and so I uh, became quite interested in economics of tourism. I looked at um, the leakages of the tourism revenues from local operators. I went to Vanuatu, Fiji, Tonga, Western Samoa and uh, with a field study like that, I thought, well, this is not a bad area to be in. It's a very interesting area. Uh, it seemed to me also worthwhile because the amount of money that's retained within a destination will determine the types of economic contribution that tourism makes. So um, I then set upon, a, a, well, what's been a lifelong uh, research in uh, tourism economics within a broad or global uh, set of trends economic trends, social trends, technological, environmental trends and so on. And so I've done some work in that area where you look at the effects of uh, changes in the remote environment, global trends, and what the effects, what influences they may have on the development of, uh, of tourism. I would say my major contributions to uh, tourism research would be in the area of uh, areas of event uh, evaluation, uh, economic impact analysis, and policy evaluation. Also did some work on event evaluation. Again, uh, the standard uh, view was that uh, uh, events needed to be assessed in a certain way within a certain framework and so on. However, economic impacts as such don't have much policy significance. So my colleagues and I uh, infused, I think, a lot more realistic content into event evaluation. And we argued that impacts were not benefits. Um, a, a particular event might lead to certain effects on GDP, employment and so on, make a certain economic contribution to a destination. But what about the costs. What about the social costs? What about the environmental costs and so on? These needed to be taken into account in a fuller assessment of the, uh, of the event. There was uh, a view, the standard view at the time, was that the uh, injections of expenditure that uh, came into a country, for instance, or into some uh, region, uh, then had all these wonderful multiplier effects that uh, would then lead to all sorts of uh, wonderful contributions to GDP, value-added, employment and so on. But it was clear that that standard view was quite naive, that in fact uh, the real world doesn't work the way that the models that were in use uh, assumed. The real world has factor constraints. In the real world, injections of uh, expenditure lead to increased prices, increased wages and so on, uh, which, which then can choke off a lot of the multiplier effects. And as tourism-related industries expand as a result of the increased expenditure, other industries contracted because tourism would draw resources away from other industries. And so with colleagues, we developed a suite of, of journal articles which argued uh, that the standard view based on input-output modelling was, was, was uh, naive and instead uh, we argued on behalf of more sophisticated models such as computable general equilibrium modelling which could give much more realistic um, answers to uh, what were the effects of increased expenditure into uh, a destination. When I looked at the different types of uh, research areas, um, I thought, well, how can I apply my economic knowledge uh, to issues of uh, tourism research? And one area that uh, I found I could make a contribution to was destination competitiveness. And this was the development of frameworks that uh, would enable 
stakeholders, researchers, industry practitioners, uh, government and so on, to understand the determinants of competitiveness of a destination. I think the significant contributions that I've made would be the development of tools that can be used to assess the economic impacts and the economic contribution of tourism. Uh, before uh, the work of uh, myself and, and, and my colleagues, I think there was certain naivety in the models that were used and so we've endeavoured to um, bring more sophistication to the, uh, to the types of tools that are used.